Hey, what's up guys? It's Justin with Salt Strong. And Luke, and we have some toys to talk about and specifically reels. So, I have a big question for you guys and it's kind of going back to the basics because as our club grows and we get a lot of members coming in asking us, they're going online and they're looking at all these different reels, these reel sizes and weights and specs and drag and it's almost analysis paralysis for people that are just getting into it and the big question is, can one spinning reel do everything for inshore anglers? Or do you need three or more? <laughs> it's, a, it's really, it's a, it's a big question that comes in and we offer a lot of different reels on our online store. And so we thought we'd just talk about how do you, you know, first of all, can one do it? And if not, how do you actually pair the, the reels just to make sure that you get the most bang for the buck and the most performance out of the money that you're spending? Exactly. And to kind of take it at, let's say level one, if you will, a lot of people that are getting into getting their first spinning reel or adding another reel to their lineup, about that $100 price point is where a lot of people tend to start. You get a good bang for buck at about $100, and in the Daiwa series of reels, there's two reels specifically that I think a lot of people have used over the years, and as I was telling Luke, it kind of feels like a red team versus blue team debate. The first of which is the Daiwa BG. So the BG stands for black and gold, and the Daiwa BG has been in the lineup. This rendition of the BG has been around for what, seven years yeah, or so? Like a minus. really long time? And how long have you been using yours? I mean, you had a review on the BG a number yeah, of years early back. on, at least five years that I've been using these, and they're solid, solid setups. And uh, yeah, so it's really like a gold versus red team. Uh, the gold, yeah, okay, the gold, gold red. Uh, gold and, and then this is the Fuego <laughs> over here. Both of these are $100 reels. Uh, both are, are very good. Like they're, they're, they can handle pretty much any inshore saltwater species, but there is a difference in utility. One is really good at, at, uh, at lighter tackle, whereas the other one isn't so good at lighter tackle. The other one's better at heavier tackle. So a lot of it comes down to application. I would say both of these can catch pretty much any fish that swims in shore. Yeah, that's the other, question. Other like, than a giant tarpon, maybe. Exactly. Can one reel do everything? And Technically, yes, yep. I guess you could, but are certain reels better for certain applications? And kind of this whole gold team, red team conversation stems from a lot of guys that are inshore fishermen, that are artificial lure guys. They'll look at the specs of different reels and they kind of gravitate towards the Fuego yep. because it's a lightweight carbon body frame. The body is lighter in weight. It's a carbon material. Um, it's still very, very smooth. It has 22 pounds of drag, holds what, 200 yards of 10 pound test, Ton close to that. And and uh, the Fuego in particular has Daiwa's MagSeal technology. So it has some added protection to the elements. Now, some people that had seen and used the BG over the years, because it's been around a lot longer, might have gravitated over towards the Fuego, thinking that the Fuego is going to be the jack of all trades, right? It's going to get everything done. And I think what we've learned on the water over time is that the Fuego can do what the BG can do. The BG, they both catch fish, but in certain scenarios, let's say you're out on the open flats, okay? You're throwing a, a Moonwalker, you're throwing a Slam Shady 2.0 or the Power Prawn, fishing potholes. Which of these two reels are you going to gravitate towards? If I'm using 10 pound line or less, it's basically my, my threshold is what strength of line am I using? If I'm doing light tackle with 10 pound braid, it's always the Fuego. Right. Because the Fuego is super light, the drag is very smooth, it's, it's way more drag than you need at 22 pounds. It's almost absurd. Yeah. Because technically the drag setting should only be 25% of your weakest line. So if it's, if it's what, three, three pounds of drag is, is more than enough for a 10 pound line. But, but this is an amazing setup for light tackle inshore. It's just lightweight, it feels nice, it's smooth. Uh, but if you're going for bigger tackle, if I was throwing that moonwalker next to some docks and, uh, and, and now I need 15, 20 pound braid, now this carbon design is now a, a, a big con because now this, this whole reel can be shifting. I haven't heard of anybody breaking one. No, well, Otis, 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 Otis had that incident. A, actually, yeah, Otis did break one Fuego, but, uh, but that's a 100-pound dog running into it. Yeah. But, but when you have a carbon reel, it's just not as sturdy as a metal frame like the BG is. So even though right. the BG is technically rated with the lower drag, 
I still like that for, for more powerful fishing. And I, I think that's what a lot of people get hung up on, right? People look at the specs of a reel and that's their baseline to determine what's better than another. Well, this has more drag. Well, this is lighter. Well, maybe it holds a little more line capacity. All those things may be true on paper, but in application on the water, it, it, it really is apples to apples. This might be slightly heavier. It might have a lower listed drag or less line capacity, but in the big scheme of things, you probably aren't gonna notice a difference for the most part fishing all day artificial lures. The line capacity is more than we need. No one, nothing's gonna dump 200 yards of line out in the flats, at least nothing you're intentionally trying to target. And the drag, like Luke said, it's a percentage of that max drag that we're actually using. And I think a lot of you would agree out there, if you hook a nice redfish, you're not cranking down that drag and trying to just winch the fish straight in. In some scenarios, having a heavier rod paired up with a reel that's designed to fish around structure, like Luke mentioned, an aluminum bodied product, something that I personally really enjoy. Uh, I like the rigidity and the uncompromising aspect of aluminum, because if I do throw that moonwalker up against the shoreline, like I got a nice snook up in Ozello throwing the moonwalker, then I had an aluminum bodied reel, and I was able to, with a medium heavy rod, hook onto that fish, turn and pull him away from the structure. If that fish were to dog me and run towards structure and I had this carbon composite body, might feel lightweight in hand in the moment, but I, I might also get a little puckered up. Might, might be a little stressful <laughs> of a moment. Really the big crux of what we're talking about is that there are certain reels better suited for certain applications. And yep. Luke, kind of take it away. If you were gonna fish out on the flats, you mentioned the Fuego is a great option for throwing, you know, light, light, 10 pound braid, 20 pound liter, soft plastics. Um, what would be a good rod to match that? Because that's the other part of the equation. Yeah, really the rod should be the first decision. That's the most important. That's the by far the most important thing. So, I mean, just the, the rod, I, I have a lot of videos. The, the TFO Pro is a great choice. That's at around the $100 price point. And we have a custom one. If you really want ultimate performance, we have a custom rod that we're doing with mud hole. That is, that's amazing. And as far as pairing the reels, I think as uh, a lot of people are asking, okay, that we've talked about the reels, what, how do we choose? If we have a hundred dollar budget, what reel do we choose? And in my opinion, just from using it without even looking at the specs, just from using these for a while, I originally thought that this Fuego would be better for everything because the specs are amazing. It's lightweight, right. crazy strong drag, but using it, I realized that this is the easy choice for light tackle. If you have a $100 budget, you're throwing 10, 15 pound braid, light tackle setups, Fuego is awesome. For $100 and it has the back seal. Exactly. Now, for me being, a, I'm kind of partial to aluminum body reels. In, in a lot of places that I fish, I don't know if I'm gonna come into a 25 inch red out over a pothole or a 32 inch plus snook against the mangroves. So if you're gonna be in a scenario where you think you're gonna encounter fish around heavier structure, you can cross over and go with a reel like the Daiwa BG. I think the 2500 gets it done for the most part. Um, it, it holds over 150 yards of 10 pound braid and if you wanted to balance a BG in particular with a rod that you're gonna fish around structure, we kind of aim more towards using a medium heavy rod because then you have that added benefit of the rod also serving the reel's purpose. You have a rigid aluminum body and now you have a little bit extra power in your rod to pull that fish away from structure. So great open water setup, right? Kind of a medium tackle, power, yep. fast action rod, 7.6 for casting distance and a lightweight fuego. And then if we're gonna get into some bigger fish like docks, you do a lot of dock fishing. That's this my, that's, that's this is exactly the dock rod. Like, yep the 7.6 medium heavy TFO professional and a BG 2500. I think you got 15 pound braid on this yep. one, right? Mm -hmm. And a little bit heavier leader. So to kind of bring it all to a close, to reiterate at the $100 price point, if someone's gonna get into getting their reel, they want something that does everything, Yes, both reels can do everything, but it's more so about the application. What are you gonna be fishing for? Where are you gonna be fishing? What is the type of structure that you're fishing around? And that will help you determine which of these two options you should consider. Yeah, and the, and the I have a third rod here so we can talk about it. And so yeah, the Light Tackle Fuego, more power need BG at the $100 price point. And as far as what types of reels can do it all, yes, there are some reels that can do it all, but no, they're probably not gonna be at a, at a lower price point. So this is 
my favorite as far as the do it all this is the bgmq so this, this is, is like the this, rolls royce set up this rod yeah. is is perfect too this like, is the next level as far as just having a lightweight reel it's not quite as light as the flag but it's pretty darn close but it's just as strong as that much heavier reel so this in particular this is the bgmq 2500 this is now my ultimate favorite reel i put it on my favorite rod this is the the custom mud hole that i was talking about earlier so for the ultimate performance this is awesome and uh, and again so when i do hook into that that big snook or overslot red now i'm fighting it without having without feeling this this reel flexing in my hand right you've got an aluminum reel that's a little bit lighter than the bg it's got the deep spool capacity like the fuego it's got a higher drag rating and this mq design has nine seals throughout the body so it's a very well sealed product so i mean that that kind of once you're ready to make that jump into let's say level two and beyond you're looking at about that 200 dollars price point yep. and you're looking at a reel that can really dance between you can really do the tango it can do the mambo it can do a little <laughs> bit of everything but I'm, I'm also a huge fan of the bgmq as you guys probably already know i have a couple three thousands as well loaded on this particular rod the mud hole custom rod that we're about to finish here and uh, have out for our insider members at the end of august the rod in particular matches well with these higher end reels that are lightweight that are rigid and durable with that aluminum body because we have a bunch of different tech in this rod we have different graphites different tapers throughout the rod so it can kind of perform well out on the open water scenarios and perform well around yeah, some a, dock scenarios too it's a solid setup yeah so just to keep this as simple as possible if you're in the hundred dollar price point these Daiwa reels are great these two options that we that we started up with is, is the fuego and the bg both are excellent they're the hundred dollar price points they're very good for their specific needs fuego for the light tackle light power situations 10 pound i'll say 15 pound braid or less the, the BG, if you're throwing 20 pound braid or 15 or more, that's when the BG uh, is, is really a smarter play because it's just, it's just more powerful and, and you're not gonna deal with the flex and you still have plenty of drag. You still have more than enough drag even though the drag rating isn't quite as high. Exactly. And you know, the best thing about all this, guys, is that if you wanna be able to pick up any of these items, we do have them on our online tackle shop, fishstrong.com. If you guys wanna get a BG for a certain purpose, a Fuego, or the BG MQs, or even Ballistic MQs, which are kind of the lighter weight, Rolls Royce version of the Fuego. Yeah. Uh, we have all that available for you guys. You gotta head over there and check it out. If you guys have any experience with the combos that we talked about here in this video, if you've used a BG or a Fuego or another similar reel, let us know in the comments below. We wanna hear from you guys. We're always trying to gather information and, and be a representation for all inshore anglers to help you guys make good educated decisions and help you get on some more fish. Comments, questions down below for anything. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know we're the best inshore fishing club that teaches you how to catch more redfish, sea trout, snook, and flounder. You save a ton of money on your tackle, and you meet a lot of awesome new fishing friends. So to learn more, head over to saltstrong.com, and we will see you in the Insider Family soon.